In this video, I'm going to show you how to do personalized coasters. What you're going to need is parchment paper, a clear top spray, Mod Podge, scrap of paper or pictures, felt, brush, scissors, a hot glue gun, tiles, and a ruler. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is measure your tile. For the most part, the tile is going to be four and a quarter, but just to double check, I would measure it. I also left a little bit of space, so I actually did my paper four by four instead of four and a quarter by four and a quarter, but it's completely up to you. If you're using a picture, I would do one inch off each side or two inches off one side to make it four by four. The next thing you want to do is cut out your square and depending on how many tiles you're going to do depends on how many pieces of paper you're going to need. In this project I did six but you can do four, you can do ten, it's completely up to you. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you cut it out to size. For some reason, mine came out a little bit bigger, but I can just trim off the sides. That's really not a big deal. It's better to be bigger than it's smaller. You can't really fix it if you cut it too small. Once you've got it to be the way you want it to look, you want to go ahead and grab your Mod Podge and your brush or foam brush if that's what you're using. I suggest using a regular brush like this one just because I feel it leaves less streaks than if you use a foam brush. The next step I would suggest doing all your tiles at once it just makes it go by faster. The next thing you want to do is put a nice even coat of the Mod Podge all over the tiles you want to make sure that it's even throughout. You don't want to have one side thicker than the other. Now you want to go ahead and center your picture or your scrapbook paper over the tile. As long as the Mod Podge is still wet, it's pretty easy to move around the piece of paper or the picture. Next step is to add a generous amount of the Mod Podge to your um, paper. This seals it and keeps it in place. I would suggest letting this layer completely dry and adding a second coat. Now you want to grab your felt or your foam or your cork, depending on what you're using, and measure the tile and cut it to size. I used all different colors just because I thought it would be really cute to add a different color to each tile. And you want to grab your hot glue gun and you want to go ahead and start um, applying the hot glue all over the tile. You can do it in sections or you can do it in one piece like I'm doing. After about my second tile, I figured out that it was way easier to do it in sections. So I started at the top and worked my way down applying glue and then attaching the foam to it. You just want to make sure that it's really nice and secure on the tile. The next to final step is applying your top coat or your clear coat. 
And I just do this twice and I let them dry in between each spray. The final step is adding some kind of ribbon to it. It's completely up to you, of course. Um, I used little cupcake ribbons to match my theme of my coasters. Um, this just makes it a really cute way to present the gift. If you're giving it as a gift, if you're doing it for yourself, then obviously you don't need to tie it in a ribbon. But it's completely up to you. I just think it adds a little something to it, makes it a little bit more cuter. It looks more put together. I really hope you enjoy the video. Thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.